Hi, Super Spruce here, Battle Lions, Very mentioned New Game Minus 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 video, episode 29, and it's been a few hours since last episode, I can get three infinity point doublers, which is crazy, and I can get one of these, plus I can get multiple of the infinity dimension stuff, so that, that, I think that was three of the infinity dimension stuff, let's see how many galaxies I can get, probably like a lot of galaxies, 75, 76, can you get 77? Um, yeah, 70, actually 78 galaxies. I don't think I can get any more than 78, though, but that's still crazy. That gets me almost E42 infinity points. Just right there, which gets me another infinity point doubler. So, I'm still not really close to E10,500 antimatter, but still, just being able to get E42 infinity points is crazy, because um, I'm, I'm going to get the doubler here. And see how fast I can actually get the infinities, or how fast I can get infinity points. So like this, I can probably, I'm thinking I can get like 76 galaxies easily. 75, can I get 76? And there's 76, so I, I feel like I can't get any more than that. That gets me about 1e41 infinity points per minute. So I, I'll, I'll take that. 7e40 per minute, that should take about 20 minutes to reach this further increase all dimension multipliers, and that's what I'm going to try to go for. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 25 minutes later, and I can get this upgrade. That's like the big thing. And there's nothing else I can get. So, this upgrade, let's see how many galaxies I can get with it. I'm, I'm not sure if I can get any more galaxies than before, but still, it, it's pretty nice to have this upgrade. And I'll make like a 25 minute run as powerful as a like multiple hour long run so it looks like I'm only getting about the same amount of antimatter as before but I'm gonna be getting more infinity points because of the infinity point doubler and yeah that's definitely gonna help things I can get actually two infinity dimension multipliers from this so I feel like thing is that E45 is gonna be tricky I should probably change my auto buyer settings like I'm thinking I could try 45 and like 330. Let's see if this even works at all. Like, let's see how many galaxies I can get here, and then how many tick speed boost. I can get I can get 44 galaxies, and I think that was okay. So that might have been 330. So I'm I'm going to try. I can I can definitely get up to 44 galaxies like this, and it works like that. Let's see how many galaxies I can get here. I can get up to 60, 60. 64, 65, oh, I can get a lot, I can get 69 galaxies, actually it's because I already have the Dimension Boost Auto Buyer on, that's, that's why I could get more than I predicted I should be able to get, I should probably get something more like 60 galaxies, that will give me 60, yeah that was, that was exactly 60, and I can just do 420, because why not, so, full, uh, nope, 420, not 204, it doesn't know how to, and type numbers in. And instead of 50, I should do 60. And that should definitely help get me a good, fast run in. Why am I saying each word one by one? But, okay, whatever. I'm going to get... Let, let's see how much I can do. I think I can probably get up to, like, 72. Until I have 70, 71, 72. And then here's where I start to using tick... I start, have to start having to use tick speed boosts. Can I get 76? Let's see. Um, ye yes. Yes. That, or that, that was actually 77. That was... Let's see how much I can get, I can do. I can get up to 5 E41 infinity points per minute. So, this allows me to reach about 4 E44 infinity points in a day. And with two doublers, that will allow me to reach... Um, so, I feel like what, what I'll do... I'll wait one day to get this 4E44, um, and that'll allow me to get some of these. It'll get also allow me to get some of the Infinity Dimension stuff, and then I will try to wait another day with that so I can get this upgrade. And hopefully, I'll be able to get closer to E10,000 and or like get something like E10,500 antimatter. Also, maybe I can start getting like achievements. Like for example, this one is essentially E10,000 antimatter. 
and has a reward. Dimensions are more powerful, the more unspent antimatter you have. I know it's a weak reward, but maybe a new game minus, minus, minus that could definitely help somewhat because, yeah, it's, it's really slow. I'm just getting, trying to get these, these antimatter requirement requirements. And I don't think I can do, I don't, I still don't think I can do error 909 yet because, yeah, only E35 infinity power. I'm going to definitely need more. So, and then this one is just unlock the fourth infinity dimension. I, yeah, the fourth infinity dimension I feel like should be E10,000 instead of E10,500, but whatever. That's what it is. I maybe even think it should be E9,500, but whatever. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back two days later instead of one, and yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at keeping track of these mods, but whatever. I've gotten two infinity point doublers. Let's just see how many galaxies I can get. I can probably, perhaps I can reach 80 galaxies. And at, le at the very least, I'll be closer than ever to E10,500 antimatter. So it looks like yeah, there is 80 galaxies. Can I reach 81? Is 81 possible? Uh, no, 81 is not possible. I'm still 730 or 720 orders of magnitude of antimatter away from the new dimension. But this is still, at least, it, it's going to be pretty good. It's, it'll, it'll get me E44 infinity points, just not quite enough for the doubler, which is unfortunate. I can get these infinity infinity dimensions, which could help a little bit. Uh, no, they're, they're not really helping, even with all these these galaxies. So, yeah, again, I'm, I'm just going to do a run to get the best possible infinity points per minute, and then... Um, okay, let, let's see what, what I can do. I can pro it, it probably stops at like 60 something galaxies. Okay, 70. I think I can get like 78. No, maybe 77. I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I max out here. I have to be quick. Here, there's 77. Um, that was, f I think, 5 E42 infinity points per minute. So that's essentially 10 times what I had before. And. That will allow me to reach about 3E45 in a day, which means I can get both the doubler and the increased all the um, dimension multipliers tomorrow. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back just like 12 hours later, and I have 2.37E45 infinity points, but then I can double this for 1E45, and I think that will just allow me to reach 1.63 E45 infinity points, which which is pretty big. This should allow me to definitely increase my infinity points per minute by a good margin, and maybe it'll even allow me to push um, even farther. So let, let's see. Like, like th these upgrades are actually getting quite powerful. So I can probably get like 78 galaxies. I'm thinking, like 77 isn't a problem. Here's 78, maybe 79. Uh, not quite. That is. But 3 E43 infinity points per minute, which, like, even like even with this, um, the upgrade here, this will allow me to reach about 2 E46 in a day. But the bigger thing is, will I be able to reach E10,500 antimatter? Because that is, like, I'm, I'm still only about 720 orders of magnitude of antimatter away from it. And... Like, maybe if I just let this go for a while, maybe it'll be possible. And especially with, like, if I get, like, E46, it'll allow me to get one of these infinity dimension things. So, I'm just hoping it's going to be possible. Like, at 79 galaxies will be possible here. Like, it, it may depend on if I get 81 galaxies. I don't think 80... I think I'm going to need 82, though, unfortunately, if I want to get E10,500 antimatter. Yeah, this actually isn't looking all that good, because I guess I can get a doubler, I can get one of these infinity dimension things, but then there's almost nothing else I can do. So, I mean, I guess I could get E47 if I was waiting multiple days, but, like, I could probably wait, like, two and a half days after the E46 upgrade, but that's about it, unfortunately. Like, now I can get a 79th galaxy here, and you can see, like, even the galaxy, that only gave me about 50 orders of magnitude of antimatter. The galaxies are actually quite weak in this game. So, 
I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to get E10,500 antimatter. Because remember the E8140 grind? I'm, wor I'm worried this grind is going to be like that grind, but even worse. Okay, I'm back a couple days later. I have E47 infinity points. I can get this. Um, I don't think there's much else. Actually, I can get something that's only 5E45, so I will be able to afford this and still be able to get the 1E47 infinity points here. So maybe this will allow me to get a decent amount of, of galaxies. Maybe I can get 82 or 81. I think I, think I needed 81. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get E82. I, I'm up to E10,000 antimatter, which gives me an achievement. Which is, yeah, get E10,000 antimatter. And the reward is dimensions are more powerful the more unspent antimatter you have. It may help, like, it may give me a few orders of magnitude of antimatter. But really, it's not going to be all that significant, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I, I could get the 82nd galaxy. However, uh, I'm not going to be able to make it to E10,500 antimatter. That's just that's just out of the question, unfortunately. And, yeah, it, this game is just getting slower and slower. At least I got this achievement. Like, it's been so long since I've gotten any achievement at all. So, just getting one like that is, is nice to have. But anyway, I'm just going to get the Infinity Point Doubler. This will give me... E46 infinity points. And actually, I'm going to try to go for one more achievement, which is error 909 dimension not found. And it's get to infinity with only a first single first dimension without dimension boosts, shifts, or galaxies while in automatic galaxy challenge. So that means I do have to um, disable my auto buyers. It shouldn't be that big of a deal to disable them and then go into um, challenge 11 and then just get a single first dimension. It Okay, it's not possible. I just wanted to test how close I was because it looked like I was actually starting to get relatively close to beating the challenge or getting that achievement. But I'm only about two thirds of the way, so yeah, I'm just gonna ex exit the challenge and just I'm gonna try to get the best infinity points um, as I can here. So let, let let's see. If I crunch here, I can pr I could probably improve the infinity points for a minute from last time. A little more than double just because of the achievement reward and the um, infinity dimension. So, okay, here we go. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. I, can, I think I get like 77, right? I th yeah, 77, 78. Can I get 79? No. That's about 2e44 per minute, which is um, here it's just going to be 1e44 per minute. That is... I think a little bit better than last time. Yeah, 7.11E43. So that will allow me to reach E48 infinity points in a whopping seven days. Yes, it's going to take seven days for me to reach there. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Maybe I can just like try to get as many galaxies as I can to help with the galaxy points, which may somehow help infinity dimensions. I have no idea. Uh, also, oh, I, I press A. And now I crunched. I A toggles the auto buyers, so yeah, that, that's super annoying that it does that. And I was just trying to, I was just trying to press D to dimension boost, but I, um, one of my other fingers pressed A. So yeah, that, that's an annoying thing. Um, and I don't think you can toggle individual hotkeys, so yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna, hopefully I can get closer to E10,500 antimatter. Maybe there's some hope somewhere. Like maybe if I, like maybe with the infinity dimension thing and the achievement reward and 82 galaxies, I can get closer to E10,500. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back about a week later. Yes, a week later and I have E48 infinity point or yeah I have that I can get this upgrade and hopefully it's allow me to get E47 infinity points I guess I could dimension boost but it wouldn't really be all that powerful so yeah I'm just gonna do that and again just try to grind infinity points so I can get this upgrade 1.67 E48 infinity points so yeah that's gonna take quite a while 
to get like even with the best infinity points per minute I can manage here like 73 74 75 I, I know I can get like upper 70s galaxies Let's see can I get um, can I get this galaxy uh, no so it looks like that was about 5 e 44 infinity points per minute so that's gonna be 2.63 E44 infinity points per minute, which is not very good. It's it's a little over double what I got before, but still just not not that good because it is going to take a day for me to get just to 4 E47 infinity points. So I need to wait an additional four days. So yeah, at least it's just four days. It's not an entire week. So yeah, I don't think there's really much I, else I can do here other than wait and then get this upgrade and hopefully then get the E10,500 antimatter. So I, I feel like this is a good point to end the episode because I feel like this upgrade will push me to E10,500 antimatter where I, I'll finally get the speed up I, I've needed for a while now, like for multiple weeks now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.